Hello, my name is Devotee and welcome to the 18th of many Skyrim Achievement Guides. Today I will be showing you how to get the achievements that are wrapped up in the Companion's questline. They are Take Up Arms, Blood Oath, Glory of the Dead, and Werewolf Mastered. I'm also going to be telling this as more of a story than a guide and let me know what you think compared to how I usually do videos. It all began with Hulk Hogan approaching the city of Whiterun, where he stumbles upon a dead giant and a very unhappy huntress, who says, Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. After getting to chat for a while, she invites him to a band of mercenaries known as the Companions. Hulk Hogan proceeded to go through several other quest lines first and ignore the call to glory with the Companions. Months later, he showed up to Yorvaskir, the Hall of the Companions, seeking the leader of the Companions, Kodlak. Cadillac was sure of Hulk Haggis' strength of spirit, but not necessarily the strength of his body. Vilkus was assigned to spar with Honky Monkey After three swings and a shout that didn't do any damage for some reason, Hank Human was initiated into the ranks of the Companions. He was then sent to do a few menial tasks, and he was shown his new living quarters. Hoagie has gained the achievement Take Up Arms. Hunk was given a short quest to clear a small camp of bandits in a camp near to Whiterun. <laughs> Yep. Couldn't be more right. I feel like it does swing a little bit. There. Rest in peace. After Hump returned from the bandit encampment, he was given yet another task. But this one was special. He was supposed to retrieve the fragments of the legendary weapon Wuthrad. Farkas, his new best friend, accompanied him to retrieve the fragment. Wow. Enticed by the call of loot, Herkadurkel unwittingly entrapped himself inside of a room, thusly trapping Farkas outside of it. With the lever stuck, the former companions, now known as the Silver Hand, approached from out of the shadows, surrounding Farkas. Watching Farkas transmorph into a werewolf and murder the traitorous Silver Hand had great effect on Honky, but he wasn't fearful. In fact, he desired such power. Don't eat me. They continued from that minor speed bump on Hork's path to completion. And he didn't die once. God damn, that guy hits hard. Shit, what happened to Farkas? Fucking Christ, bro. Oh, oh never mind. He decapped. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I... Useless. I don't know where I'm going. I can't fucking tell. Not, none that I can f just gonna fucking what? And he Eventually coming into a large corridor, Hank learned a new word of power, how to murder a Draugr Deathlord, and of course, he retrieved the fragment. Upon delivering the fragment back to Yorvaskar, Helk was given an honorary ceremony to celebrate his sheer willpower. Honk was then given a miscellaneous task, in this case, beating someone up in a bar. On Helk's return, he was told to speak with Skewer for his next task. Skewer invited Hellish Hobgoblin to a secret room under the Skyforge. Inside was a stone cauldron and a werewolf. Seeking such prowess in combat, Hulk agreed regardless of any potential side effects. Merciless and unidentifiable, Horker went on a rampage in Whiterun. He ate the hearts of the innocent. Eventually, he came back into consciousness in the middle of a hunt with Ayla. Hulk has achieved the Blood Oath. Again, Hulk did not die once. Not once. Well, damn, I got my shit rocked. The trap didn't help, I'm sure. Are you fucking kidding me? That I... <laughs> Well, what do I do? Ah, oh, fuck you. 
Ah, oh, fuck, I almost made it out. Damn it. Oh, what? Come on. When he inevitably came back from the slaughter, Yorvaskar was in disarray. The Silver Hand has taken the fragments Honk worked so hard to collect, and they killed Kodlak. Hogan took his revenge swiftly with a companion at his back. After due vengeance was enacted and the shard was recovered, it was time for Kodlak's funeral. We take our leave. What? <laughs> what? I, I don't know how that works, but alright. His... Huh? <laughs> His... Huh? Being a werewolf, Kodlak's soul was unable to enter Sovereign Guard. Desperate to push his soul into Sovereign Guard, ask first. Hat Hunter and his friends went to the tomb of Iskermor. When Ham Homework met Kodlak's spirit in the tomb, Kodlak admitted to being a massive furry and demanded Hulk perform an act of animal abuse, to which Hack obliged. Thus he achieved glory of the dead. After being admitted into Sovngarde, Kodlak's spirit went away, which filled Hurt Hungi with rage. A rage that can only be satiated by the blood of the people. Right, let's go kill a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, you monster. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week or the week after because I don't know how hectic my schedule is going to be. If you found any secrets in this video, be sure to comment it. And if you're the first, I will be sure to pin you and shout you out in the next guide video. See you around.